Fold the waistband so that it's right sides together and then fold back the seam allowance. Try to line up the folded edges of the waistband as perfectly as you can and pin. Your seam line needs to line up with the fold line at the edge of the zip. So we're not so much worried about whether it's a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance but that it lines up with that folded edge um, where the zip is at the centre back. Make sure you back stitch at either end and clip your threads. It's just a really short seam to hold the end of the waistband together. The process needs to be repeated at the other end of the waistband where we have an extension. The extension is going to be where the button is sewn to. So fold it right sides together, pin the seam allowance up. Try to make sure those folded edges are right on top of each other. Before you sew this end of the waistband, you need to check that it's the same width as the side that you've already sewn together. If it is the same width, then you can go and sew a 1.5 seam at the very end of the waistband, backstitching at either end. Again, it's just a really short seam. You should end up with about three and a half centimetres between where the zip finishes and the stitching line is. Trim your seam allowance to about half as wide as it is and clip close to the corner but don't clip your stitching. Trim the other side of the waistband as well, the other end of the waistband and this is just to eliminate some of the bulky fabric underneath when we turn it to the right side. To help get a nice corner on each end of the waistband, you can actually fold the fabric along the stitch line, pinch it really firmly and then turn it round to the right side. When you turned your corners through, compare both um, widths of the waistband at the centre back to make sure they're the same. Begin pinning the top folded edge of the waistband. Use a ruler to check uh, that the width stays the same across the whole length of the waistband. Turn the skirt around to see the inside of the waistband. Fold up the seam allowance so that the folded edge just covers the gathered skirt seam. And pin it into place. Place the pins at right angles to the waistband and use lots of pins. 
you really want this folded edge to stay in place because you're going to be sewing from the other side when you sew it. The next row of stitching will show, that's why it's called top stitching. This sewing will be done on the right side of the waistband so you can see where to line up your sewing. So you need lots of pins now. Begin at the end of the waistband with the skirt right side up. Keep the edge of the waistband in line with the inside of the edge of the presser foot. You must sew on the waistband a few millimetres from the skirt seam and your stitch length should be about three or a bit more. Remember all the pins are underneath so you'll have to take them out as you go but you can sew right up to them before you remove them. Sew the whole length of, of the waistband. Try to sew straight and stay on the waistband but very close to the edge. When you get to the end, back stitch for about a centimetre but try and keep it as neat as you can because it will be seen on the right side. Finish the waistband with an iron. When you're ironing the waistband, you actually don't want to iron the gathers. So just focus on pressing the waistband and just skimming along the top of the gathers without crushing them. <laughs> 